it's another Sunday afternoon when I wasn't planning to record anything. But I've just seen this clip that was posted on Libs of TikTok. Now, I'm not a parent myself, but this is a near perfect example of parenting done badly. So the difference between gender neutral parenting and genderless parenting is that one is completely neutral and the other is not. From my understanding, gender neutral parenting is just using they them pronouns, using neutral clothing and neutral toys. And for genderless parenting, it's quite the opposite. For my youngest, we use all pronouns, including neo pronouns, because we want them to feel each pronoun and see what makes them most comfortable. With my oldest, we've done this, and she goes by she, her, he, him pronouns. And has expressed that they are both a boy and a girl. Gender neutral parenting is basically making a non binary baby, and that's not the goal with the genderless parenting. In essence, gender neutral parenting is giving them neutral everything. Gender creative parenting or genderless parenting is allowing them to experience both masculine and feminine things. Hey, Wesley. Yeah. Are you a boy or a girl? A boy and a girl. What are your pronouns? How do you know? Um, that's how I feel. Okay. I will. I love you. I love you too. So let's start with the mother. She says she's got two children, so she's been fucked at least twice, and that is a braver man than me. There is no way on earth I'd get aroused around that. It wouldn't matter if she spent the night plying my drinks with crushed up Viagra. Nothing is going to overcome that. If I was going to shag her, I'd have to get my cock and put a splint on it. In Britain, we have a phrase, she's no stranger to a fish supper, meaning clearly she eats a lot of takeaway food. And I'll say, if she spent half as much time trying to raise her children as she does ramming food into her face and recording crap to post on TikTok, then she wouldn't be raising two of America's next serial killers. And that expression, that really doped up, almost heavily medicated stare she's got. Now, I'm guessing she's medicated, but her doctor should know the meds aren't working. The thoughts are still coming through. And it's not like she knows what she's talking about. It's an almost incoherent ramble. Uh... The, the difference between gender neutral and gender creating gender parenting is they're, they're opposite each other because one, you use it, pronouns have got something to do with it. The, the gender, what was the question? I'll just come out and say it. What she is doing is fucking child abuse. Because when the baby was born, I'm guessing the midwife didn't turn to the mother and say, congratulations, it's a them. It would be a boy or a girl, and she is inflicting her weird pronouns, her strange worldview upon that child. And of course, the child just wants the parent's approval. So it will go along with this utter madness. And when we get to the end of the video and meet the child, who is clearly her son, I think he's been briefed. I think there's been a lot of discussions going on. In fact, probably quite a lot of shouting and threats that when mummy asks this, you will reply, she and him, and it's how I feel. I feel very sorry for that young lad. When that lad goes to school, he is going to get the absolute shit kicked out of him. Because as much as we like to say children are sweet and kind and innocent, they aren't. They're looking for something different so they can pick on it. It also worries me that that family are American. A country where guns are readily available. And if he manages to make it to high school without deleting himself, well, he'll be shunned by all his peers or he'll fall in with the crazies. Rest assured, in about a decade's time, that young man is going to walk into a school with an AR-15 and six spare magazines, with a Glock tucked down his belt as a backup. In the future, when people ask, well, where were the warning signs? How didn't we see this coming? It was on TikTok 10 years earlier, his deranged mother filling his head with insane ideas. She may as well have run a motel and called him Norman. The thing that's worrying for me is children that age, that will be the generation looking after me in the care home. Assuming I get that far, because the way things are going, it wouldn't surprise me if by 2030, I've been executed by the government for the crimes of being a straight white man. Seriously, this shit being inflicted on kids has got to stop. As ever, thanks for watching.